No doubt about it, there are numerous vacations, but only very few adventures can be compared to a day spent on Kimberley Island. Now, you may be wondering what draws visitors to this island. Other than the immaculate white beaches, the crystal turquoise waters, and the jagged sandstones that precariously balance on the edge of the water. This island is one of Australia's northwestern boundaries and is encircled by the Indian Ocean. Thousands of people visit this location yearly to enjoy a thrilling luxury boating experience. Why else would they not? In this guide, we'll take you on a journey through some of the most popular attractions on Kimberley Island. Hey there! If you are new here, welcome to our channel. We focus on traveling around the world's greatest beach and ocean destinations. In this video, we'll be providing a travel guide for yachters on Kimberley Island. Most of my views are from unsubscribed viewers, so if you're not yet subscribed, now is the time to click that button. Without further ado, let's get started. In the world today, Kimberley Island is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the whole of Australia. This location has a lot to offer from thousands of miles of largely deserted terrain to the stunning rocky coastline and huge rivers. Right here is the discovery of 40,000-year-old rock paintings, the burial site of a DC-3 airplane from World War II, and fragments of unusual ceramics. Despite how beautiful it is, the cultural, historical, and natural significance are what really draw people in. Generally, a large portion of this region can only be reached by boat or by air due to the coastline, streams, and tributaries that define this isolated region of Australia. A journey to Kimberley is a journey through one of Australia's wildest and most isolated areas. You can choose to discover the magnificent boulders and mind-blowing chasms of the Bungles Bungles, hike through red rock gorges to magnificently tiered waterfalls, and even find undiscovered freshwater springs in El Cuestro while listening to stories so you can learn about the cultural significance of these extraordinary landscapes. Kimberley Island is a must-see luxury yachting location. Whether you are looking for some fishing experiences or simply willing to take a stroll by the picturesque terrain, the Red Desert Kimberley region occupies Australia's northwest corner, taking up an area three times the size of England. Surprisingly, only less than 40,000 people live on this island, which is one of the oldest regions on the continent. The entrance to the cultural and ecological treasures of the Kimberley is in the coastal town of Broome. Despite its isolation, the region offers excellent dining, opulent lodging, hospitable residents, and one of the most charming beach towns on the planet. Here is everything you need to know if you intend to visit the location on a yacht cruise but are unsure where to begin. The Berkeley and King George Rivers are the first places you will arrive at once you set out on your journey. These two rivers both have sandbars at their entrances that are unsurveyed. As soon as you identify the rivers, you will also observe that these tidal ranges are quite small in comparison to those seen elsewhere in Kimberley. In fact, there is only one high and low tide on the King George River. Around six miles of this river may be navigated, and when you do so, you will pass through a lovely sandstone gorge with a magnificent cascade along the finish. About halfway up the river, a narrow ravine leads to several hundred foot waterfalls. In front of both falls, the water is deep enough to allow a yacht to approach fairly closely. A steep but clearly defined route close by leads to a cliff's edge where you may get a great view of the falls, the anchorage, and the River Canyon. This is unquestionably one of the nicest anchorages you can ever imagine. Furthermore, you can also decide to visit the 11 mile long accessible Berkeley River once you have finished exploring the King George River. There are numerous side creeks with breathtaking waterfalls and wild fish along this river's course. In your stunning luxury yacht, you can take in the beauty of these rivers and if you're looking for more adventure, you can also decide to fish from your boat. Honestly, you will definitely enjoy fishing in these rivers because there are lots of wild species of fishes there. A luxury jar island tour on a luxury yacht will allow you to explore the island in comfort and style. Right here, you can enjoy wildlife viewing, luxury and small ship excursions and discover the best luxury spots. 
Also, you will enjoy top-notch regional cuisine made by local chefs while exploring the area with the best English-speaking local tour guides. Thousands of tourists have remarked that they enjoy having a luxury class journey to Jar Island. Most of your sailing guides will have their mooring market at this location, which is 600 feet, 200 meters, above the beach and directly over the mangrove swamp. At the very least, make sure you don't forget to check out the stunning art galleries on Jar Island. These galleries are well known for their huge statues and genuine native artwork. To avoid any half-tide rocks in the murky, unmonitored waters, you will need to exercise extra caution as you charter along the river's course. In addition to being a watering hole, it is also an indigenous site with traditional camping areas. It was also once the home of a giant sea spirit who made the water salty for the other marine creatures. Moreover, the bay serves as a safe harbor for sailors seeking refuge from choppy waters and is a popular stop for Kimberley cruise ships traveling in the region due to the abundance of anthropological and historical attractions nearby. Above all, this location is one of the most favored spots for the most Kimberley tours. When you sail in the same general direction as Jar Island, you will also come across a unique location, Osborne Island. The most famous feature of Osborne Island is its castle, which happens to be a huge multi-chambered cave that towers over the surrounding countryside. If you want to learn more about the lives of the indigenous people, you should visit this cave. If you can visit it at high tide, you will completely appreciate it even more because the walls are covered in stunning, vivid paintings. The Ungu peoples of the Wanamba language family, whose name for the island is Nugarali, are the area's original inhabitants. In addition to the castle, there is another significant cave that is located 130 feet 40 meters from the beach. It is possible to enter this cave any time throughout the day. You can safely anchor in the ocean near the shore and travel to both caves from there. The island is 2,361 hectares in size and is a component of a large archipelago on the western side of Admiralty Gulf. Camden Sound is all about the Montgomery Reef. On the southern Kimberley coast, Montgomery Reef is situated near the southernmost point of Camden Sound. The sound of this massive mesa-like reef is what initially catches the attention of most tourists. The escaping tide is known for drawing tons of bubbling water away as you speed through a canal and the motor is being drowned out by the white noise. The largest inshore reef in Australia gradually develops terraced edges giving the impression that it is rising out of the water. The churning never ends because as soon as the tide goes out, it begins to come back in, progressively obscuring the reef. Honestly, there is no waterfall like it. Approximately 154 square miles, 250 square kilometers, make up the vast expanse of the Montgomery Reef. In this location, you can see many green sea turtles in the crystal clear water because they enjoy seaweed on the reef. At low tide, the reef structure rises to 13 feet, 4 meters, out of the water, forming deep channels. You may see mink whales, dolphins, and dugongs in the marine park. You can take a yacht cruise to explore Montgomery Reef or the helicopter for a breathtaking aerial view. Numerous little islands that encircle the reef are home to mangroves, crocodiles, turtles, and bird life. Up to 25,000 humpback whales set out on the world's largest migration every year, traveling up the west coast to give birth and raise their young in Camden Sound's shallow waters. The world's largest humpback population is housed in the 700,000 hectares Camden Sound Marine Park. And if you visit between July and October, you will be treated to fantastic interactions with these gentle giants as they feed and reproduce. Silver Gull Creek is yet another place you absolutely need to visit if you are on Kimberly Island. Once you arrive at this creek in your yacht, you will be awestruck by its beauty and elegance. There is a perennial spring in this region, which served as a watering hole for the iron ores on Kulan Island. Over time, 
it transformed into a tiny oasis known as the Squatter's Arms. This area is located around the former water tank, which is currently a swimming pool. You will be astounded by the crystal clear aquamarine waters, the stunning natural setting, and the wild fish when you charter to this location. Yes, there are many fishing opportunities in this area as well. Large tanks and temporary docks were once used to supply fresh water to outlining mining activities in the 1950s, but they were abandoned until intrepid yachties Phil Ray and Marion Smart arrived in the area in 1994 and decided to settle there. The couple created a remote paradise hundreds of miles from civilization, with no way to get there other than by boat or helicopter. They built a swimming pool out of one of the old freshwater storage tanks and took care of a lush, fruit-filled tropical garden with plenty of shade. For almost 20 years, their only contact with the outside world was the occasional passing boat. Kimberly's unique silica beach, which is formed entirely of pure white silica sand and is so powder soft, is located off of the anchorage. You can spend some time exploring the beach and swim in the turquoise waters. At dusk, you can proceed to Silver Gull Creek Serene and seclude an overnight anchorage. Most importantly, you can watch the sky for shooting stars while eating dinner on the balcony. Finally, you will discover a never-ending paradise of turquoise waters, white dunes, waterfalls, and breathtaking sandstone canyons at one of Australia's greatest natural wonders, Kimberley Island. Along the line, you will discover vistas that have been shaped over millions of years while taking in the region's abundant animals and tranquility. Despite its isolation, Kimberley Island offers fantastic food, hospitable residents, and one of the most charming beach villages in the world. That sums up our travel guide for an adventure to Kimberley Islands on a yacht cruise. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, ensure you also click the subscribe, and most importantly, click the bell icons to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, Feel free to leave a remark if you have any recommendations for videos. Have a great day, everyone, and thanks once again.